Yo, what's up, YouTube? This is Works Production with another Sony Vegas tutorial. And for this tutorial, you're gonna want to know how to mask. If you don't know how to mask, you you could watch my masking tutorial on my channel. And yeah, anyways, this is what the effect looks like. Alright, so if you want to know how to do that effect, just keep watching this video and open up your Sony Vegas. Okay. And as you can already tell, I imported my video clip. I'll show you what you're going to want to record yourself doing right here. Alright. So, keep in mind, this is playing right now. Keep in mind, before I even, like, move into this video, I have the camera recording of just the background so it's like the table with the cocks on it you know cock chicken same thing alright and I put a piece of paper down and I, I don't even know what the hell I did here you know I just went to uh, take a shit yep, all done came back and I go to draw a few shapes so I started off with a square like that and then I go to draw oh got the flush okay I'm back and I go to dry, draw a triangle okay and then the rest of it I just you know go back to the bathroom and do whatever I gotta do Alright, so, like I said, keep in mind right here, I just have the recording of the background. So, the reason you do that is so you could go up here and save snapshot to file like this and name it background. Oh, forgot the G. There we go. Save. Alright, I already had the thingy, but this usually does pop up. And, alright, it'll pop up right here. Oh, what the fuck? Delete that real quick. Alright, so you got this. This is just the background photo. And now what you can do is take the timeline indicator to the part where you're about to draw. So, uh, right. Right here should be good and just left click and drag the beginning of the clip to the timeline indicator like that and just slide the whole clip over to the left all right so now start off a little faster and you'll draw your shapes all right so after you've done that you're gonna want to go to the part where you're just about to finish your first object that you're drawing so right uh, you don't even want the marker to leave the table uh the paper yet so about right there and you're gonna want to hit s to split the clip s on the keyboard sorry about that and then you're gonna want to go to event pan crop right here and you're gonna want to hit mask and you're just gonna you know make a mask around the square right that all right so you could uh, use the wheel on your mouse and scroll towards the screen screen to make it zoom in like that. And you could just uh, take this and move it around so you get a better view. That is called the normal other tool. And you're going to want to go back to the anchor creation tool and make a mask. So, like that. And you're going to want to switch the mode to negative. Like that. Alright, so now when you watch your video, it's going to be like, oh, I drew in a big black square. Okay. Alrighty, now go to the part where you draw your triangle, like right there, and right before you leave the paper again, with your marker, right after you draw the shape, so like 
So use the arrow keys on your keyboard to go frame by frame. It'll be, it'll be, it'll be, it'll be. Fuck, I can't talk. Anyways, it'll make it a little easier to edit with because it goes frame by frame. So, like, right there, right before my marker leaves the paper, hit S again to split, and go to event pan crop, and you can now mask out that triangle real quick, scroll in the mouse to make it more zoomed in, and just draw that mask around the triangle now, like this, ready. And you won't see it at first, but just switch it to negative, and there you go. So that's what you got. And this is where your background picture comes in. All you have to do is drag this picture under all these. So using these arrows on the right, right here, just to go all the way to the bottom, kind of like this. And drag that picture under this and stretch it as long as the video is. And uh, yeah, it's pretty much it. So now when you draw it, right after you draw the shape, it'll go like that. All right. And uh, just to make it look a little better, just go to back to the event pan crop right here. Make sure this is all the way back like that. And go to feather type. And switch it to both and go to two all right and do the same over here click that all right that's already to the beginning like that feather type both and switch it to a two like that and yeah that's it so hopefully this wasn't too hard to understand but if it was I'm sorry just comment it was and I'm um, Maybe make a redo of this tutorial kind of thing. But anyways, yeah, thanks for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe. Alright, see you guys later.